Welcome everybody. I hope you are all okay. Let's just get everybody in. <laughs> Welcome in everybody. We to jump back to comments. Welcome in Sister Rochelle, Mystical Love and Light. Welcome in Sister Phoenix. We missed you last night. So we did. We missed you. <laughs> Welcome in guys. I've just shared it out on Facebook and things. Don't get me wrong, I'm going live on Facebook as well. Um, two Facebook pages I'm live on. Um, but I did want to invite them over to YouTube in case they want to come on in and get the best chat experience over here. So I do, sorry, I apologise, I have not got any makeup on, but hey ho. <laughs> sorry, sis had doctor appointment. That's okay, Phoenix, don't worry about it. Okay, we'll just give everybody. I do apologise for Sparkle. She's <laughs> and I've got my witchy, good witch. I've got my good witch one on tonight. Uh, yes, you're definitely excused, sis. You're definitely excused. <clears throat> I don't know why the chats. I don't know why the live buttons red. I've never seen it do that before. <coughs> I've never seen it do red before. I see what's, oh right! See, you learn something new every day. I didn't know you could go to the top bit and see where all your viewers are. So I've got two on Facebook and I've got two on YouTube. Brilliant. Hello everybody on YouTube and Facebook. Welcome in. A sparkle, please stop it. God's sake, guys. Yes, I'm going to just give my opinion and what I think is going on in a lot of the witches' woods around the world. I just got back from another one I had to, an eye exam. Oh, sis, I hope you're okay. <laughs> it's got a nice witchy hood and things on it, I'll show you. This is it's comfortable. Oh, it's still tucked in. I'm in an office state for one witch. So I'll be the next person in the witch's woods. Hatchy hatchy! Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so there you go, it's a real witch. My real witchy jumper. This is my rituals. Even get the back to keep your hands warm. <laughs> it's nice and warm. I love this. I like this type of jumper. It's comfortable. It's comfortable for just sitting around the house. Unless you want to just sit in your pyjamas. <laughs> right, everybody. I'm going to give everybody time to get in. I'm going to get a drink and a quick smoke. Tonight we have got Dragon Beauty lit. Welcome in, everybody. We'll just give you all a couple of minutes. He's a like this. He's a like my my theory and what I think's going on. I was going to do Tara readings, guys, but I couldn't get my energy clear enough. I kept falling asleep. I've not been sleeping very good. I'm back to the not sleeping at UK time. I'm back to sleeping at 7 in the morning to 12 in the afternoon. So basically I'm getting four hours sleep. For 7 o'clock to 12, that is what I'm sleeping. So I'm absolutely shattered, guys. So I could not clear my energy enough to, to do tarot readings. But I will do them in the next couple of days for the month ahead. Okay, welcome in, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Let me see who's all on Facebook and here. Oh, everybody's over here now. That's good, right? Everybody's in. I don't mind starting now. In fact, I better get a couple of minutes for Dobie and that. There, we're at seven. I'm trying to make sure all my regulars are here at least. Because <laughs> he's a like this. He's a, he's a probably never even thought about what I'm going to say. Well, a lot of you will have. A lot of you will have thought of it. But the normal ghost hunter won't have thought of it. I'll just get a wee cigarette. Girl, don't run yourself down. You need to keep your energy up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Phew. I've been running about like a bloody Egypt. I've got... Need to go down with my daughters at nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow as well. Oh, that'll be brilliant. <laughs> I'll just have a cigarette.
Yeah, well, that's better. I don't know why it done that. I got to anyone channel. <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened there. I honestly don't know. Right, okay. Let's kind of get started, right? Everybody knows that the, all the ghost, well, not all the ghost hunters, a lot of the ghost hunters always end up going to locations such as Witches Woods, Devil's Woods, a lot of different places that they, they call, typically the name for it is the Witches Woods. As a lot of you will know, I follow Haunted Finders and they especially have been going to a place called the Witches Woods for years. For the minute, that's actually what kept me going back to their channel. At first was because I always wanted to see if they'd been back to the witches' woods or not. Um, and I will play a little bit of one of their videos when I find one. Um, that I want to play. I'll find one in a minute. So what typically happens in these locations is they go in, they go, out, they get out of the car and everything. They go into the sparkle. Stop. They go into these locations and typically everything goes okay. The usual, they just take a walk through the place, do a couple of little recordings. It starts off that the spirits start to say their name. They start to say like a couple, little couple of things, nice things, you know, like their name, maybe what music they liked or something. Who knows, whatever, right? Just nice things about their stuff. So they, they walk on further on in and then... It maybe gets a little bit darker. Maybe somebody will say leave. Then they'll get like a couple of chills, a couple of feelings. They usually start to hear a lot of footsteps and things around them as well at this point. But the point being, the further they go into the woods, the worse that it gets with the, the responses on the spirit box, the responses on spirit talker and things. It's as if they're try the spirits are trying to either work. Evening, Scott and Sarah. It's as if the spirits are either trying to warn them not to go any further because there's a ritual site up. up. And also remember, guys, when the, the the forest that Tom and that go to, uh, uh, down in Nottingham, it has already been proven that there's uh, been demonic practices going on in that forest. A way back, I don't know the days and things, the dates, sorry, but way, way back years ago, there was proof that people were doing sacrifices and things in there. Uh, I think there was a couple of chickens and things get found with their heads off. A lot of blood all over the place and things at certain points. Um, just all the usual things that show that something's been done that's not too right. Probably a lot of bones and things found through the years as well, where they've probably sacrificed animals and then dumped them. Um, but a lot of things about the proof anyway that there's been sacrifices and things in these woods. A lot of satanic worshipping and things goes on as well. A lot of the time you can't go near any of these woods at Halloween, Samhain, because a lot of the time... What woods? Uh, I'm not really sure what woods it is. Tom never ever really tells you. It's just on the outs outskirts of Nottingham. I think it's because it's such a dangerous place. He doesn't actually point it out on a map, you know. But he has took a few ghost hunters up there, though. Anyway, so just the usual signs that something's been going on. A lot of the time as well, um, the police and everything will maybe turn up in the car park a lot of these places just to see if there is people in the woods. Lots of things like that. That always points to, to satanic worship witches being around, especially at Halloween, guys, as I was saying, a lot of the times Tom and different ghost hunters and things like that have went to the witches' woods at Sal and Halloween, but they, they see torches, they hear voices, so usually that means that there is people in there doing rituals and things. So I think through the years, most ghost hunters will just stay away from woods and things like that now on Halloween because they know it goes on. It really does go on still to this day. Uh, in these places especially. I know Tom had said that his mum had walked the dog up there not that long ago, a couple of years back, and she herself had seen a carcass, I think it was a chicken or a bird or something, um, but sacrificed, of course, not just sitting like a normal bird dead. So me as a witch, guys, okay, 
I, I think about all these things. I start to think, and a ghost hunter, I always start to get down the lines. Eh? And there's another one as well. In America, I don't know if all of you follow a team called the Twin, Twin Paranormal or something they're called. Something like that, okay? Um, and they as well have been to a couple of, I think it was two years ago, they went to a place called the Witches Woods as well in America. Um, but over there, you know, you're like, the, the UK ghost hunters compared to the, U, the US ghost hunters are a bit different. Us UK ghost hunters are very wary pointing out, that's a demon, that's this, that's that. Whereas a lot of the US ghost hunting teams, that's the first thing they'll say. Oh, a demon, oh, a shadow man, whatever, right? But the point being, that in these low, twin paranormal, yeah, yeah, they're good, aren't they? I like them. Um, in a lot of these locations, though, it's the same pattern. That everything's okay, they get out of the car, they go up, they get the usual nice spirits, which is probably... Just the Roman spirits that roams in everywhere. I mean, there'll be spirits out in that park right now. There'll just be people that's died and they're roaming around just getting on with their day. Everybody knows this, right? So it'll be the usual spirits that just hang around. Maybe their guides even just get saying a couple of things here and there. But it always ends up the same. It always ends up the, the good voices come. The warnings come, the footsteps come, the creaking of the branches come, the breaking of the branches come. The further that you go into these places, the more noises, the more different things is going on. And I noticed as well that in the local area of these places, you usually find that it's high pan jack. You usually find that it's near somewhere that has got a lot of witchcraft practice in the area. Down in Nottingham and things, as you know, it's a lot close. It's not close, close to Pendle Hill, but it's in the general area, you know. And a lot of witches and things kind of generate down that area. It's because of the power in the land. That's the truth. It's because the power in the land down in the Lake District and things as well. It's, it's powerful. You can manifest what you want. You can go into these woods and do rituals, and guaranteed within the week you'll have what you want. It's because the power in that land. You see all the, the abundance through the years of the farmers, through the growth, through different things. It makes different parts of the land more powerful. And as well, if there's ley lines and different things that close by. There's a lot of different things that add into it. Um, but as a witch, I start to think about all this. I think, so what's on that land that's so powerful that us witches or satanic worshippers want to go there? And obviously, the land's not just a normal field. And I remember one of the investigations that Tom and that had done up there, they did a lot of research, even though they've been to the place hundreds of times, I do believe they still keep research in the area and things. So I don't know that he had found out that there was a practicing cult, still goes up cult, satanic cult, goes up into that area. I don't know if he had spoke to somebody or something, I don't know. But they, they do still practice up in there. And also as well, the, the further you go back, I think it's actually a, a different part of the woods. It's a huge wood, guys. You're probably talking a couple of miles long, you know, not just like a little forest. Uh, you're talking about where, um, what you call the forest is, Sherwood Forest. It's that general area. Uh, I don't think it's part of Sherwood, though. It's a, still not in them, but um, so these woodlands are huge, and on that land there is actually a I think it's a fort, an old fort, where there was battles and things, where I think it actually got burnt to the ground or some fire or something. If you are interested, I will find the video and things like that, and I'll place them together. And I'll ask Tom if I can do it, and I'll show you. I've actually got a playlist on my channel, and it's the Witches Woods for the beginning to the end that Haunted Finders has done. I haven't added the last couple of um, investigations because I've just been lacking, <laughs> to be honest. But I've done it for the beginning. So I'll ask Tom if I can maybe play certain parts of it. Um, but I've got a theory, right? I've got a theory that through the years, through the, the witches that has used the land, the magical healers and things, they will all go to these places to collect their herbs, 
they'll all go to these places to get their sticks for their wands. You know that you know the way it goes, guys. Sherwood is a massive. We investigated there last year. It's huge, isn't it, Scott? Mm -hmm, it's huge. It's not just a local forest. It's massive. It's the vast. Um, but I've got a theory that all the witches and things that do go to the area to collect their their wares, if you like, um, through the years have kind of tried to protect it. They've tried to protect it for these entities and things that has been conjured. Maybe even the bad energies that was conjured with the war, with the battles and things. I what would you say, mystical sis? I watched a couple of paranormal investigator channels investigate Sherwood, but I can't remember their names. Maybe it's maybe even been haunted finders because they they go in there a lot. Um. So I think a lot is to the witches. I think a lot of the things that they find hanging in the trees. Um, it's scattered around the area as the protection of the witches. When I've got a sore throat, guys, I need to get one of my Jakemans. These turn my tongue black, but I need one of my throats there. Um, they usually turn my, my full mouth black. Oh, I've dropped it. So I've got a funny feeling that in that area, that's what happens. And you've got. I've got a sore throat, guys. I have to always eat a Jakeman's. It's all about stops. Um, so I think through the years, a lot of the witches and things have put protection things in place for the like. Maybe not as much now because through the years, obviously, it'll have changed. There'll have been more and more people have went. A lot of more darker, darker witches and things have went as well. So they'll probably you leave their wee bit to protect their wee spot where their herbs are growing where they get their, their, their branches for their wands, that type of thing. So a lot of these things that you see hanging in the trees in these areas are going to be the local witches. They're going to have put these things in place to protect their area where they collect their herbs, they collect their wild flowers, that such thing. That's what I think a lot of these things that's hanging up is, okay? So that's what I feel that, that bit is. The bit that I feel changes from the protection of the area to the haunting of the area is actually up at the ritual spots or the road up to the ritual spots. When when any witches and things are getting prepared for ritual, we chant. There's loads of different things you can chant. You can chant your spell, you can chant your, your love, your protection on the way up to these places. You can chant anything you want that's making you powerful as you're going. Such as Uncle Danny taught us that when we're doing our spells and we're putting power in, we're, we're putting our energy into things. We do say, -a, say, -a, say, -a, 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 a, that type of thing. You know, it's just getting into rhythm, building your power up to enchant. That's what it's for. It's to enchant what you're doing. So a lot of that energy that they'll feel walking up to these spots are going to be that that energy from these uh, satanic cults, the darker witches, um, preparing for their, their, their ritual on the way up to these places. So I think that's what, why the energy starts to get so intense. I think it starts off at a place where... It's just your spirits, it's your local, even probably the elementals who protect the, 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 and the guardians who actually protect the forest. So they'll have protected all there. So a lot of these energies will be those protective spirits as they go into the area. But further as they go up to the ritual spots and things, that energy is the energy of these people. And also as well, they'll have put things in place to keep that magical energy in their land. I don't know if people know this or not, but a lot of the time when we do pentagrams outside, you don't see them. They're underneath. They're not to where you can see these things. If we are going into the forest today, anything at all, 
I mean, me personally, I'd love to go and do things every other day, <laughs> to be honest with you. Scotland's not got the weather for a start. But there's going to be things planted in that land to keep everything protected that they leave there. They, they're they not going to build up an energy in a place year after year after year to just walk away and leave it to the elements. It's not going to happen. Every time they do that, they do their rituals, they, they choose their spot, if you like. There's going to be things underneath that ground that's going to mark it for these people. That is why it goes black. That's why it goes that nothing will grow. Copper, for a start, a lot of the time there'll be a copper pentagram underneath that soil. If you strip back that full soil off that part of land, there could be a pentagram underneath it with copper. That'd be why that's how they go. See this computer. Oh my jumping Joseph. That is how they keep their energy up. <coughs> that's how they keep the energy in the land. Is the things that's planted there for the, the land to stay theirs. I bet you any money that a lot of these, these places that's got activity like this, like the witches' woods and things, the demonic forests, I bet you if the spots that is clear, I bet you any money, and it could be it could also be with the years and years of putting salt around salt, salt, salt. It could be that, or there could be salt, uh, Himalayan salt and things planted underneath. Who knows? But the point being... There's going to be things probably in place to keep that land, quote TV, to keep that land um, right for them coming back next time. I, I, I would love to bet that they're uh, that all the way up to these spots, that there's sigils in the trees carved, and that's to help them focus on the way up. There'll be things on the trees that'll be carved out so that when you're walking up to the area, it helps empower you. There's maybe even been a couple of witches or satanic cult members that has got their own sigil mark on these trees so that they know that this is my area. What are you saying, guys? All right, okay, you're talking amongst yourself. I thought you were, t I was like, oh, please don't be arguing. <laughs> right, uh, so I think a lot of the time that that's what it is, guys, and I think if if uh, normal people, and I don't mean normal people as if normal people, we're special or anything. I just feel as if, if people that want to go up there and ghost hunt and things like that, know the forest and things that, that's at Tom's area, but that's a special kind of haunted. <laughs> I would stay away from it. I want to go and experience it once to I feel the energy up there. I want to feel what power is in that land that gets them so scared that they run. 90% of 100, they go out, they run <laughs> because it gets too much. The intense energy gets that much. But you've got to remember they're sensitive as well. So that energy, Tom's feeling that all the way up to that, that ritual spot. The American one, America, has, uh, the US has always done things bigger than better than Britain. Let's face it, they just always have. <laughs> it's as if it's a competition. <laughs> but my point being, if our woods are haunted with a demon, then America's woods are going to be haunted with 10 demons. It's just the, the attitude, you know, especially with the ghost hunters over there. I think the bigger they can get, the, the, the worst they can get, they're happy at that. Whereas with us UK hunters, we're happy at just our names been through a spirit box. <laughs> uh, but I think if they took the time as well to have a look through the, the area and look at the trees and see if there's sigils on them, look on the ground and the way up and see what is all there. Is there crystals buried? Is there uh, rocks and things that's been enchanted that's marking the area? I bet you when I go to Nottingham and if I ever get to the witch's woods that there is. I will film it, okay? I'll take a wee... I don't know if it would be... It would curse me, but... Because you think about it. If I'm a witch and I'm going into another witch's area and I start digging around, 
that's not good. <laughs> Much like what happened to me up at the Lover's Lane. Because I didn't know that was another witchy spot years and years ago. And then I went up there, started the spirit box and things. I think I actually took a stone as well. I can't remember. Uh, maybe Zach did or somebody gave me it. Something like that. He usually does. So that could have cursed me. That could have made me go through that really, really hard time until I went back and I apologised. If you notice, when I did that up at the, the, the lover's lane, I was in the right for about six months after that. I had to end up going back and apologising to, to the area, even if you don't think there's a witch there. I had to go back and apologise to that area and give an offering. I gave a candle for my altar. Whenever I do a candle or something and it's maybe not burnt all the way down, I sometimes mould it into a little skull and I keep it on my altar for Santa Marta. So I took one of them up, but it was it had actually been melted into a bit of a love heart, I think it was, that one. So I took that up, I picked a couple of wildflowers on the way down. I'm trying to think what else I've done, guys, I can't remember, it's on video anyway. And I went back and I did apologise, and I think that helped me, because my energy and everything was clear after that. But I do think that if, if a lot of the ghost hunters and things don't watch what they're doing when they go into these areas... They are going to end up getting cursed and things. But I'd like to go see. But I would have to ask permission. I would have to ask, is it okay if I come into your area? No matter what woodland I go into being a witch, I have to ask. Because it's it could be a step on somebody else's territory, you know? And I'm aware of that now. I wasn't ever aware of it before until Lover's Lane. So I think that's kind of what's going on around that area of these witches' woods and devil woods is because of the ritual spots. Us witches are not going to... Half of our power is in our altars. It's in our sacred spaces. And let's face it, these places in these woods are these cult members' sacred space. That's where they go and they conjure up their power. That's where they go and they conjure up their inner worth to go home and start doing their spell work for the next three months, you know? What are you saying, guys? What do you think, anyway? Tell me what you think, you witchy sisters. That's our phoenix scene. I don't know if I have any around me. I know there was a spirit of a girl on a bridge close to the high school. My kids used to go to, was said the girl had jumped down they say she still does it. See, that's interesting. I've been to the bridge, never felt any energy there. It's maybe just a local myth. Or it could be, a lot of the time, you'll not know the right area. Things get misconstrued through history and things. If there's two or three bridges are there, I would research it again. It's maybe been a different bridge that the late the girl did that, you know. A lot of the history gets mixed up. What are you saying, our Rochelle says? I think it's all interesting. If I were there, we would be going over there every day. <laughs> Me as well. I, I would love to know. See, I've only ever felt nice in the woods up here. Nothing has ever felt bad. One time down the Monkstable, which is the bottom of Birkwood, as I've told, a lot of you that I've been in my channel for a while, I'll know this, but a lot of you that's just here in the last wee while, I'll know all this. When I, when I went ghost hunting one day down the Monkstable, which is Birkwood grounds, um, I turned the spirit box, and it's all on my channel, I turned the spirit box and things on, I think it was Necrophonic actually, and it kept telling us to leave, get out of here, move, and I just thought that we weren't welcome in the area. I really did. And I, we, we left. And then the, the, the Saturday night, we had just not long started doing live streams. And then the Saturday night, we had done a live stream um, on Age of Darkness. Um, and we start, I, turned, I wasn't going to turn the spirit box on. I do believe I was going on today tarot readings. But because we had only been going live for a week or two, People wanted me to turn the spirit box on, and that was fine. I was happy to do it. But I hadn't said a prayer or cleansed my area. So that is what happened. I had ended up getting attacked. 
and it's and as soon as I got it, I'm a, my altar or nothing was lit up. I turned the spirit box on, calling in the spirits. Then all of a sudden, my breath went, and I couldn't breathe. And I says to Chris and that on the live, I'm going to have to go. Um, I stood up, lit my altar up straight away, said a prayer, and then it left like that. When I sat down and I thought about what happened, I thought, what happened? It all came to me. What had happened was when we were down amongst the bone the Saturday night, eh, sorry, the sat the during the week. To let you understand, Willie, my partner, his mum who who died, eh, had a partner that was very abusive to her. Um, and the message I got was, guys, that it was an ex partner of hers that had came looking for her, and she was down in the monstable with us spending time with the grandkids we're just spending time with us basically probably Liam because it's our grandson this is the message I got for the spirits that um, it was her ex-partner who had came looking for her because he had just died and he found her and it was her that was telling us to get out of the monstable but because I hadn't cleansed hadn't put my protection up on the Saturday night he had came through the box looking for Wally's mum again and he got me and that he tried to strangle me and that is that's what happened and when I jumped up and uh, lit my altar up and everything my guides came and helped me but that is what had happened there and that is the only time I have ever been in the woods and anything bad has ever told me to leave get out and growling as well there was growling I do believe what are you saying sis there was one of the first videos that I watched of you. That was one of the first ones, right? Um, it was crazy, guys, honestly. But the one up at the, was it the one up at the Lover's Lane when I apologised to the witch? Is that one of the first ones you watched, sis? Phoenix is saying, I know I would love to be there too, sis. Would love a ghost hunting in my ear. I know. See, the thing is up here, I've said to a lot of people, do you want to go ghost hunting? Do you want to go ghost hunting? Up here, everybody just gets on with their normal life. Guys, they don't really put much thought into what to do things at night. And that's the truth. A lot of them would just work. So they're kind of roboted up. <laughs> work, sleep, work, sleep, weekends, drink. <laughs> Uh, if I could get somebody that was willing to take me out ghost hunting, I would be everywhere. Honestly, I would be out every night. But there's just no the interest in my area, and I can't drive. So I'm going. I'm working on driving, and I will be going out places. I, I swear, next year at this time, I'll be driving. And if I don't, I'm no witch. <laughs> But it's interesting. I, I, that's what happens. Though. I sit and I, I think and I think and I think and I think. I think about everything that much it, to I get to a place where I understand it. That is why I can't sleep. Because I've got to understand every single dynamic of everything that goes on around me. I have to know people in and out. I have to be comfortable with, you, with people around me or they don't get around me. <laughs> And everything I think and I think and I think, I think that much my head gets sore. <laughs> if you don't drive this time next year, then I was just not meant to be in the stuff. Well, I know. <laughs> shush, shush. <laughs> I'm setting myself a target. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. But I, do, I think that when I get down to Nottingham and things, which will be next month, I'm going to try and see if I can get to some of these areas with the haunted woods because I've never felt it. And for all, I don't want to be scared. Of course, I don't want to be scared, but I want to feel it. And the curiosity is killing the cat. <laughs> I need to feel that energy. I want to feel what I'm up against. I just want to see if I can maybe... As well, and, and as well, around here... I've already sen sensed all the area. I know where to go, where not to go, um, that type of thing. So it's time to go further afield now and sit, feel out the area, you know? What are you saying, my beautiful sister, Phoenix? You and me both, sis Drew. I know how to drive but don't have a licence. 
Oh, well, you just need to come to Scotland. I'll get you your license and then you can drive me around. And we'll go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought I wanted, I was going to play a couple of videos and things just to show you uh, what I meant about the witches' woods. I would need to ask Tom, Tom I, I do believe Tom wouldn't mind. I really don't think haunted finders would mind if I showed their footage. I don't. But uh, I'll get his permission anyway. It just keeps it good for YouTube. Because I need to watch what I'm doing because of monetization and things. So I'll ask his permission first and we'll do a part two. So what do you think, ladies, my beautiful sisters? What do you think? Do you think I could be right? That there could be sigils and things on the trees? And there could be enchanted energies under the ground. Because I do, I do, I do believe that that's why it gets so hectic so quick. And it's always around the same area. So it's got to be things that's either visual uh, or under the ground that's, uh, that's giving the energy off. Or maybe the spirits are just there constantly all the time in these areas. I can't see that though. What are you saying, my beautiful sister? I want to go back in the haunted holler that I went before by myself and something told me to run. An old scratchy voice said, run, but Lee won't go with me. He's too scared. See, my partner's the same. Well, he goes with me, but he'll know. I wouldn't imagine he'd go somewhere he knows that there's something bad. I can't see him going there. He goes to graveyards and things with me. Doesn't mind going to cemeteries and things. Uh, also, he's been in New Lanark with me. But uh, no, I don't think he'd go somewhere demonically haunted. <laughs> you don't want to go by yourself. Nah, don't go back yourself. <laughs> Always take somebody with you if you can. Even if you're doing an alone challenge, have somebody there. Just in the, the perimeters of the, the thingy, you know. Anything is possible, that's right. That is right, my beautiful sister. Anything is possible. It's Phoenix, you got it. We'll take my son Hot Wheels cars. He's got a whole bin full of them. We just have to pick one. <laughs> pick the fanciest one and we'll go back to our youth. We'll do a Thelma and Louise, okay? Thelma and Louise. In fact, Mystical Love and Light, you can come with us. We'll add a... Thelma Louise and we'll add a, a Rochelle. <laughs> we'll be different. We'll have three years. <laughs> In fact, we'll take all our witchy sisters. So that means there'll be nine years. Nine years will go on a big, huge road trip. Why not? We could do. We could all see where the mutual spot is on the map. Probably be Germany or something, wouldn't it? Where the mutual spot is on the map. And then we'll all fly in, have one crazy week together. And then. Go back to our lives. Right? We'll all save up enough to go to the cheapest country and meet up for a week uh, and then go back. In fact, I don't think it's that expensive to come to Scotland right now. People were saying that. But it's actually not that expensive. I think it's because of everything that happened during lockdown. What are you saying, sis? I picked the wrong right man. I'll have to win the lottery first. <laughs> we'll all do the lottery. If that will treble our chances. <laughs> yeah, I did. for the people watching this back, leave a comment down below what you think about the haunted woods. And also comment if you think I'm right. Or partially right, even. <laughs> have a mystical loving light. I want you to go... Guys, I don't know if you uh, actually even know that Mystical Love and Light is a ghost hunter as well. If you check our channel out, put your channel up, sis. I'll put it in the tags below as well, um, on the description. Because Mystical Love and Light actually does ghost hunting as well. You go with your friend. The one I watched, I've not watched the, the other one you did yet. The one I watched, you, you were out with, I think you were, there was about four or five of you there. At the bridge. And it's weird because see that bridge you were at? That's the bridge that we Summer Wells was meant to have been seen at uh, about a month before it. And then her mother went back 
after her death, well, after her disappearance. And the name's on the wall. The name a uh, Summer and the, the, the brother is on the wall. Everybody, please subscribe to our beautiful mystical love and light. I'll put you, I'm going to start sharing your channel more on Facebook and things as well and get you get you growing. We'll need to do a, a support stream for you and do some of your videos and things. That's what I'll do. I'll do a support stream for you and I'll pick some of your videos and I'll play them and I'll show everybody a bit of your witchy stuff, a bit of your ghost hunting stuff um, and try and push you out a bit more because you deserve it. So I don't know where Dobie is, guys. I've got a funny feeling Dobie's not feeling well. She's maybe asleep. Hope she's okay. Yeah, so, yeah. I'll just blare at ease for 20 minutes now. It took it didn't take me as long as I thought. We're going to go back to the Saints Bar Tunnel again. I go back. I'm going to watch all your ghost hunts. Do you know, I'm actually... Looking for something to watch. So what I'll do is I'll watch you tonight because I've got nothing to watch. I'd been watching Mike. I've watched a lot of Mike's channel in the last couple of weeks. That's me watched all his videos now. So I'm bored. <laughs> I've watched every single one of them. <laughs> I was just going to ask you about her. <laughs> ah, it's not like her not to be in. She must be fell asleep or something. Yes, please subscribe to Mystical Love and Light. She's an amazing witch. She is so sister, isn't she? Uh, so I definitely think that's what a lot of these energies are. What had sparked the debate? It sparked the debate in me because Haunted Finders had went back the other day to a, a different woods and there was things hanging in the trees. And a lot of people were saying that it was hats, it was this or it was that. And I'm saying it's not as a bloody well witch's bobble. <laughs> How can you not see that's a witch's bauble? I'm shouting. <laughs> there was two witch's baubles hanging in the trees, and I do believe that's what it's for. I think one's for the guardians, and one is for the elementals to protect the area for them. And what will be in them, it'll be, they'll probably go back and put different things in those wee balls. They'll keep feeding the spirits. Thank you, Drew and Phoenix. No, you deserve it, honestly. You really do. I think it's an, it's an injustice when there's amazing channels out there that put so much into their channel and they never get the recognition that they deserve. In Mystical Love and Light, you do. You really do deserve it. There's no many witches out there that's willing to put their first spell work out on YouTube. Believe me. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't put everything out that I know. I'd leave one wee ingredient out. <laughs> leave out one ingredient. <laughs> I'm only kidding. So many people hear the word witch and they automatically say that they're doing rituals in all different work woods. But in fact, a lot of them are probably putting out protective items. Uh -huh. See, that's what annoys me. Everybody's always that quick to say witches and think it's bad stuff that's going on. When most of the time it's no. It'll be them trying to heal the land because of the battles, because of the, the maybe the trees dying off. There's loads of things. Or just to protect where they, they pick their herbs and their flowers and things. It's a good theory for a lot of the ghost hunters to know because it maybe not scare them so much if they think it's only the elementals and things. Because they can give the elementals gifts as well. They can ask the elementals for permission to be in that wood and take some tobacco, take some lime, take some lemons, take some oranges. Offer it to the spirits. Offer it to the guardians, to the ancestors, to the elementals. And I bet you any money their ghost hunting would go like a peach. They would have an amazing night talking to the spirits. Hey, Mike, I was just talking about you. I've just watched all your videos. I've none left to watch. You need to do another one. 
Guys, you need to subscribe to Mike. Honestly, he's are missing out. If you have not got Mike the Naked Bigfoot and watched him, you are missing out. You really are missing out. <clears throat> do you want to put your link up, Mike? And I'll do it for my phone. When I put that computer back, that's my old computer. When I put it back on, it won't let me log into Facebook. So I just left it. I can't be bothered going through the, the two-step verification, the this, the that, the next thing, just to get Facebook up. I thought, nope, I'll do it without. Let me get your channel, mate. Thank you for coming in, my buddy. It was a good show last night. Guys, you need to watch. See if he's arguing out to watch Mike. Watch his show for last night. Because it's a really good dude. They're all good. I take notes. It's good to know what some of these energies are that Mike tells you about. Believe me. Mike the Naked Bigfoot. I'm going to get a book. And I'm going to... I am, I'm not kidding. I'm going to sit and I'm going to log it all down. What each spirit is, what it's called. Uh, what Mike has been told about them. I'm going to put it on a big journal. I'm telling you. If you're a ghost hunter and things and you want to learn about what all these energies are, watch Mike. And I'll share your link, Mike. Honestly, you need to know. There's about to share your link on your own bloody channel. Right, where's my life? Your channel. Oh, this maybe start echoing, guys, two settings. I'll put your link in the description as well when I'm editing this. Right, that's Mike's in the chat, guys. If you can, please go subscribe and watch them. Honestly, it, I wouldn't tell you to watch anybody I didn't think was worth it. And that's the truth. Nah, you're too kind to this old monster, Drew. I'm not very good at self-promotion. No, you're not very good at self-promotion. And you're not an old monster. You're our Mike. Okay? I understand that, Mike. I don't promote myself either. The Drew does a good job promoting me. Yes, you will need to promote yourself more. I'll push you out. Don't use worry. Phoenix, subscribe to Mike's channel. You will enjoy his channel. He's funny and great guy to watch. Great energy. Couldn't say it better, sis. He's brilliant. And do you know something? I have to apologise to Mike, guys. Because when I was with Parachills, we started to go live, and the first live screen, stream, stream they ever had, there was about six people on the screen, and Mike was up. But Mike can be very man's um, sense of humour, I'll say. <laughs> and a lot of people was getting offended by it, and he never ever came back on again. And I felt so bad for about a year. Until I spoke to him and I says, Mike, I'm so sorry, I judged you. <laughs> because I think it was just because of the excitement of the live stream and things. It brings things out on you you wouldn't normally say. You're all too nice to this old monster. You're not an old monster. Stop. You're a gentleman. You're brilliant. We've all made mistakes, Mike. You can't keep punishing yourself. We've all done it. Yeah, he's got a great channel, guys. He, he explains a lot of the stuff. And for anybody watching this that's maybe not doesn't know him, he explains a lot of things about the myths and the legends that's in like, the Appalachian Mountains, which are around in all these wee communities in America. I do believe he's been abroad as well, telling us a lot of what all these myths and legends are. Mike has actually spoke to the people who the legends and things uh, have started in their community. So it's an oh, there are Toby and Toby. Hey, sis, did you fall asleep? 
Uh, yes, the mic does a lot of that, guys. He explains what a lot of these energies are that's around us. And, and, and he's got a farm. And the, in the farm, there is Bigfoots. There's a tree that grows, and it grows a certain type of apple. And it's to feed these entities that's around the area. We can't eat them. We wouldn't be allowed to eat them. They take them. It flourishes in one night, and then all the next day they're all gone. <laughs> so you wouldn't get an apple if you wanted to. <laughs> what are you saying, sis? Aye, I did. Been a long day. Aye, ah, that's okay, sis. You chill out. You relax. Everybody's welcoming you in. <laughs> yeah, I was all I wanted to talk about. I was just going on for an hour again. I remember I told you I'm trying to do an hour every night. Um, I just wanted to go on and tell you about what I think is in the witches' woods. And I'm going to ask Haunted Finders if I can play some of their content. I'll have, maybe even ask some of the other ghost hunters uh, if, you're England, if I can play any of their videos that's maybe got other haunted forests in it. And we'll do a bit of a debate on it. We'll maybe show you the, the footage. You can tell me what you think it is. That type of thing, right? I'll do part two. I'll do part two next week, next Thursday. Oh, I could maybe get Amy up with me, because Amy said she'd come back for a chat. It's just that she's busy, guys. All the ghost hunters in England are getting out, filming every night, nearly like, no fear. <laughs> what you saying, don't be sis? Tina, I'm a lot better, thank you. A long walk in nature today. Brilliant, sis. I always go walking through the... See, if we walked in through the railway and things, I always feel energised. It's amazing what it can do for you. Even just taking time to listen to the birds, it can help you. Uh, I say Bigfoot is from another dimension and he comes through portals. See, there's a debate to be done. Mm -hmm. See, that's a lot of the theories of that. And I do believe there's something in it. If these entities, these entities, if these beings were around us at all times, you would see them a lot more often. I think it's got to be, I think this, they live in a different dimension. And when we see them, it's actually a portal that we're seeing through the dimension. Who knows? But it's good to talk about it and debate it. I love it. I'm so glad you're doing better, Sister Toby. I love long walks in nature. Wish I had more of it around me. Definitely. Cryptids are my main interest, so we'll love a discussion on that. Yeah, Toby likes the cryptids, guys. So we need to get her up. Toby does come up on screen maybe sometimes in panel. She does come up sometimes. When it's an interesting topic. Will you come up? Welcome, citizen brother. Oh, you just here for work? You get your feet up then and get a cup of coffee. Okay, go relax. Yeah, you said, I've got a theory about the witches' wood, citizen. If you've got time, watch it back and then comment or mail me, private mail me what you think. Because I've got a wee couple of theories of why these places are so haunted. Or are they haunted? <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. J. How are you, buddy? Our Mr. J. Not seen you for a wee while. You been okay? Have you been okay, Mr. J? Oh, hope you are, buddy. So we've got five minutes, guys, and that'll be at my hour. So... And when you do watch back, definitely give me a comment below and tell me what you think. Because it's something to think about. Because if a lot of the ghost hunters have that opinion in their head, they will not be so scared in these places. Because they can tell themselves, it's the guardians of the area, it's this, it's that. Only thing is, if they know there's a ritual site there, stay away from it. Because the things that could attach to you or harm you isn't worth it. And it will be active all the time. I was listening to your topic on Bigfoots. I reckon the Bigfoots are to do with aliens. See, there's loads of theories. 
So as a new newcomer, come up with us, we'll do we'll do a, a stream even if we want to your channel. I don't mind. I'm not a channel hogger, I don't mind. <laughs> uh, we'll do it on somebody's channel or my channel. And we'll debate it. We'll have a screen, we'll maybe four years or something, and we'll talk about it if you want. We'll get all the different theories out. Because not a lot of people do talk about it. Especially in our community, not a lot of people talk about it. It's always either ghosts or witchcraft or aliens. So we'll talk about it next week if you want. We'll do it next Thursday, right? We'll talk about cryptids next Thursday. What are you saying, Mr. J? I'm doing good. Nice to see you, Drew. I'm so glad you're doing good, Mr. J. Thank you for answering my question. Yes, I see it's a Bigfoot's being aliens because they are part of the star seeds. See, there's loads of different theories on it. And it makes sense, though, that it's not part of your universe. Because if you think about it, we would see them. There would be more sightings now that everybody's got phones. It's a good, it's a good thing to debate because it doesn't get talked about enough. I think there's that much controversy behind it. That people think Bigfoot is controversial to start with. And then to say that he's part of the alien system is another controversial thing. So that's why a lot of people just won't touch it. Because there's too many dynamics in it. Where it could be. We'll definitely do it, brother. Okay? Yep. We will definitely do a live stream. So, if you come in for work at this time, we'll leave it to about 11 o'clock if you want. That way you're not rushing home for work and getting straight into a live stream. You can have a wee while to relax, get your dinner and things, and then date about 11. We'll talk about it anyway. You can mail me, and we'll talk about it. do be you as well, if you want, come up. I would love you to come up, please, because it's you that knows everything about it. You can keep your camera off. And if you, anybody else wants to come up and talk about it as well, you are more than welcome. A lot of my community do actually have flesh and blood meetings with cryptids, but I do believe they can be something else too. See, there could be different species. We could have what were, were species here on Earth that is your physical, and then there could be a mythical one as well. Who knows? Think about it. Most of these entities can be... Uh, one way or another we just don't know that's why we'd like to, to talk about it research it and debate it because then you come to an understanding no definitely i want to do it i've been wanting to do it for a while i just didn't really know who else to ask except for you sis because i know you don't always want to come up on screen so i don't push it yeah drew hey shrimp shack I thought that was Dobie's comment. Hi, sis. How are you? Cryptids like to cloak. See, that's the thing that gets a lot of people is this cloaking thing, isn't it? A lot of people think, what's cloaking? What's cloaking? I've seen an alien cloak itself on a guy's channel that was called, what's he called? Astro. Astro Pilot is called. And he used to take footage out in his garden and you would see the wee orb. And then a wee bit away, you would see the wee entity running around. And then the orb would stay here, and it would always go back to it. It's as if the orb is its energy point, you know? The orb will be here, and then this entity can go all around it. And then all of a sudden, it just disappears. So I do believe that, that, that cloaking is a thing. Uh -huh. Welcome, everybody. Hit that like or get <laughs> hit that like or get on your bike. I like that, brother. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Everybody's coming in now. Oh my goodness, guys! I'm just getting away, and you're just coming in. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. Definitely watch back, guys. Though everybody's coming in, and get, get a listen and tell me what you think. Tell me if you think my theory could be true. Who knows? Oh, my wallpaper. Oh, I love that wallpaper. I had a wee budget. Oh, oh. I used to have a wee bird in a cage. A lot of you will remember it. 
and it used to sit here. It pecked the face off my owl. Look, could have done with my head. You see where it's pecked the this hand. Do you see where it Oh my goodness, this is hard. <laughs> Do you see where it pecked the face off my wee bird? <laughs> What are you saying, sis? Sorry I had to pop out for a few minutes and check the weather. He's fixing to run in some 60 mile. Oh, no. You stay safe, sis. Got all those boats and things hatched down. Hi, Crafty Craft. Welcome in. How are you? Crafty Crafter on a budget. has got a good channel, guys. Have a look. I've, I've watched quite a lot. <laughs> Welcome in. Hi, Adventures with Beth. Oh, my wee Beth. Uh, oh, I've not seen you for ages. Oh, I'm quite quiet. Oh, I've not seen you for a while. Are you okay, Beth? I don't even see you around much at night anymore. To let you understand, I used to run into Beth everywhere, much like I do a eh? shrimp shack. <laughs> And I've not seen her around for a while. Welcome, man. Crafty Crafter. and uh, uh, Welcome in, everybody. I love these all saying hello. I'm just gone, guys. That's the best. Yeah, but please watch back and tell me what you think. Right? I'm Beth, too. Oh, you Beth, too, Crafty Crafter. Wow. <laughs> hello, Beth. Hello, Beth. <laughs> You have two channels. See, I've got my broomsticks and pentagrams channel. I, I comment fellow on different feeds. If I if I'm in a I don't want to be recognised mode, I'd use my my broomsticks and pentagrams channel. If I'm I don't mind, I use my Drew's paranormal. <laughs> Welcome in everybody. I'm so sorry, you ten people that's here. I am just going, but. <laughs> Is that with my juice? What's it this side? Welcome in everybody. Oh, we have got ten on food. yeah YouTube as well. Welcome guys. Yeah, I'm just going. I'm going to go and chat. I've got. I need to be up early tomorrow. So I do need to get asleep tonight. Do you know something? It's that bad. That I'm going to put uh, Sister Rochelle's channel on Mystical Love and Light. I'm going to put it on and play it right through. Uh, and don't even switch channels. Because I want to be able to chill out and just... Whew. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit and watch Sister's channel. And then fall asleep, guys. Because I'm shattered. You know, use you know. I usually at least put mascara or something on when I'm coming live. I couldn't even be bothered. I brushed my hair. That was it. <laughs> and I couldn't do Tara, guys. I just could not do Tara readings tonight. I will do them in the next couple of days, though. So. Well, I've, he's doing good, Toby. He's doing amazing. He's a, he's actually okay. It's the vegan. <laughs> I'll say no more. Right, okay, everybody, thank you all for coming in again. You must be getting sick of hearing my voice. Every night I'm live just now. <laughs> anyway, if you do get sick of my voice, just tell me, okay, and, and I understand. Right, I'm going to go, guys, so I'm not just sitting here rabbiting on and on and on. And I'll see you all for no problem, sisters. I'm going to put yours and Mike's uh, tag in my description. I'm going to do that for now on for all my videos. I date with Uncle Danny's. I always put Chasing Bones Inspectors in my description. Yeah, a lot of things. But I'm going to start doing it with the threes. Just to get you pushed out. Right, okay everybody. I love you all and I will see you soon. Tomorrow night I am going out on a live ghost hunt if the weather stays good. If the rain comes, I'm not going because I'm not wasting my camera. Uh, so if it's not raining, I'll be going up to Douglas, okay? I'll be going to Douglas Castle, and I will go live. So, if it all... Fingers crossed that the weather stays good, and I'll go live up in Douglas, okay? Now, everybody, thank you all for coming in. 
Have a good night, sister, and everyone love and light to all and blessings. I couldn't say it better myself. Day Hatche. Thank you for coming in, Hatche. It's always a privilege, honestly. And email me if you want. We'll get a chat. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a nice night.